Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Marble has captivated people's attention since ancient times. Evident in its widespread use across architectural marvels and artistic masterpieces. Today, marble is used for various purposes, including in the making of modern buildings, places of worship, floors, walls, and countertops. Turkey is considered one of the world's best marble producers, with several high-quality quarries in many different regions, such as Marmara or Bordur. A great variety of tools is needed to extract the marble from the quarries, including complex machinery like the stone chainsaw. Initially, various holes are drilled directly into the rock to create weak points and make the formation of blocks easy. The workers can then separate blocks using hydrodynamic cushions, or even smaller pieces of marble as wedges. The structure of the marble makes it easily breakable having what is called cleavage planes or weak planes. A huge demand for marble in the world is mostly covered by Turkey, covering more than 40% of the world's market. In the quarries, a special cable called a diamond wire saw is often used to cut the marble blocks. These wire saws can cut marble blocks to very precise tolerances, ensuring that the blocks are accurately shaped. On the outside, the cable is filled with diamond beads covered with the corrosion protection coating. The high speed and the toughness of the cable left a smooth surface once the block had been cut. Marble is processed into several sizes to supply diverse needs, so the workers use hydraulic breakers to obtain smaller pieces. Once the blocks have been cut, transporting them from the quarry face is necessary, which is typically done using excavators. Those vehicles come in a variety of sizes, each designed to handle different tasks and conditions. Transportation of marble has evolved through the centuries, from using oxen to bulldozers in modern times. Dozens of trucks move the marble blocks every day to the processing facilities. The first step in the processing process is to cut the large blocks into smaller slabs of uniform thickness. 
water serves as a coolant, preventing the wire or disc from overheating and ensuring its longevity. Marble blocks are converted into slabs thanks to the tungsten parallel blades of a gang saw. Durum şöyle, normalde katraktaki blok büyüklüklerimiz 3 metreye 2 metreye 2 metredir. Bu olabilecek en büyük katrak kesim makinasındaki taş ebatıdır. Makinanın kesim sistemi şöyle, suyla çalışan, aynı zamanda lamalar dediğimiz, lamalar üzerine kaynatılmış soketlerle yapılan bir işlemdir. Sulu kesim yapılır. Bir katrağın başlangıç ve bitiş tarihi söylediğim ölçülerdeki taşlarda yaklaşık olarak 15 ile 20 saat sürer kesimi. Bu işlem uzun bir işlemdir. Dikkatli yapılması gereken bir işlemdir. Powerful vacuum holders are used to manipulate the marble so as not to cause any damage to the slabs. Rough-shaped slabs are then subjected to a series of grinding operations to achieve a smooth and even surface. Popular techniques to process the marble surface are flaming and sandblasting. Polishing not only gives shine to the marble, but also is an important step in making the material impermeable. Polished marble treatment is more common for an indoor environment where the glossy look has more value. The 2.5 million annual production in Turkey rests in their more than 13 billion tons of marble reserves. Through the years, the industry has advanced technology, implementing new machinery. A disc saw uses a laser guide to cut multiple slabs, keeping the same geometry for all of them. As the slabs get smaller, it gets easier for the workers to manipulate the marble for further processing. If required, the slabs will be cut several times to obtain the necessary length and width. Dünya ülkelerinde 20 ayrı ülkeye ihracat yapmaktayız. Bunların başçıları Kanada, Amerika, Güney Amerika, Panama, Orta Doğu'da İsrail, Irak, Suudi Arabistan gibi bölgelerde ihracatlarımız devam etmektedir. Aynı zamanda İç bölgede çalışmalarımız da vardır bu anlamda. Thanks to its beauty, durability and practicality, marble continues to be a popular choice for an increasing consumer population. In 2022, the global marble market size was estimated at $64 billion, with an expected growth of 4.6% from 2023 to 2030. Such growth is thanks to the high demand for construction activities of residential and commercial buildings. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.